Imagine walking into a stadium for the championship game. Before you even sit down, you check the scoreboard and feel the crowd's energy. That vibe tells you what's coming next. The stock market is just like that stadium, full of players and always buzzing with emotion. This mood is called market sentiment, and ignoring it is like playing quarterback blindfolded. Knowing sentiment is your edge. When everyone's euphoric and buying everything, that's a warning. When panic hits and people are dumping stocks, that's an opportunity. The market swings from wild optimism to deep pessimism. Your job? Measure those swings, not get swept up in them. We're not talking about asking your buddy if he feels good about stocks. We're talking about reading the clues the market leaves behind. These clues, like footprints in the snow, show you where the big money is moving. It's about facts, not feelings. Cold hard numbers tell the real story. I'm about to hand you the keys to reading the market's mind. No guesswork, just real tools. We'll dive into the indicators the pros use, the ones that flash green for buy and red for sell. This is the playbook for understanding the psychology of the crowd. Get your notebook ready. Class is in session. Booyah! So what is market sentiment? It's the overall attitude of investors. Hope, fear, greed. All rolled into one, powerful force. Think of it as the market's body language. You don't ask if it's nervous. You watch what it does. We measure sentiment by actions, not words. Are investors buying frantically or quietly selling? Their moves speak louder than any analyst. It's like a doctor checking vital signs. One reading isn't enough, but a pattern tells the story. When the market's healthy, you see certain patterns. When it's sick with fear or greed, you see others. The goal? Become a contrarian, someone who goes against the crowd at extremes. When everyone's buying, the contrarian thinks about selling. When the crowd panics, the contrarian looks for bargains. But you can't be a contrarian unless you know what the crowd is doing. That's why these tools matter. They give you the confidence to stand apart. Forget surveys and opinions. Real sentiment is in the data. Learn to read it and you'll spot opportunity where others see chaos. This is how you get ahead of the herd. Ready to see the dashboard? Let's go. Time for the tools of the trade, the big four indicators every serious investor needs. First price action and trading volume. They're the foundation showing you what's really happening. Next, the put call ratio. It's a simple gauge of fear and greed in the options market. Then the volatility index or VX, the market's fear gauge. These indicators don't rely on opinions, they're built on real market data. They show you where the money's moving and how fast. Learn to read them together and you'll see the market's terrain, where the cliffs and easy paths are. This is your sentiment reading map. Let's break down each one. Start with price and volume. Price is the direction, volume is the gas pedal. Rising prices on big volume, that's confidence, bullish. Rising prices on weak volume, warning sign. Plunging prices on huge volume, that's panic, bearish. Falling prices on light volume, maybe just a dip. Always look at price and volume together. A price move without volume is a rumor, with volume it's a fact. Now the put call ratio. In options calls bet on up, puts bet on down. The ratio shows which side is winning. High ratio, above 1.0, more puts, lots of fear. That can signal a market bottom, maximum pessimism. Low ratio, below 0.7, more calls, lots of greed. That can signal a market top, maximum optimism. The contrarian twist. When fear or greed hits extremes, the trend often reverses. Use these tools to spot when the rubber band is stretched too far. Don't just follow the crowd, read the signs and act smart. Price, volume, and the put-call ratio together give you a powerful edge. They reveal the market's true mood. Next up, the VIX. Meet the VIX, the market's fear gauge. It doesn't show direction but measures expected choppiness. The VIX rises when investors buy protection, put options, driving up insurance costs. Low VIX, below 20, calm seas, low fear but beware complacency. Too low for too long can be a warning, high VIX, above 30 or 40. Stormy weather, panic in the air, but extreme spikes often mark market bottoms. Remember, when the VIX is high, it's time to buy. When the VIX is low, look out below. The VIX isn't a magic bullet, but it's a crucial piece of the puzzle. Watching it is like having a weather radar for the market. It won't predict every move, but it shows when storms are brewing. Use it with other indicators for a full picture. The VIX helps you stay ahead of the crowd's fear. Let's see how this all makes you money. Why bother with all these indicators? Because the market is a game of psychology, and these tools let you see what the crowd is thinking. Understanding sentiment gives you a strategic edge, helping you pick the best moments to buy or sell. It's not about perfect timing, but about stacking the odds in your favor. If sentiment is terrible, VIX spiking, put-call ratio high, 
Maybe wait before buying, even if the company is great. When sentiment bottoms out, you can buy at better prices and ride the next rally. If everyone's euphoric, maybe it's time to take profits. These tools keep you disciplined. Avoiding greed and panic. Mastering sentiment separates investors from gamblers. With these tools you see the market for what it is. A battlefield of fear and greed. Now go out there and make some money. Booyah!